and welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know or if you're new here, my name is Natasha and I own a small shop on Etsy called Coco Natasha and I sell greeting cards, prints, stickers, enamel pins, some of which you can see behind me. So I thought I'd do a video um, about my run up to the Etsy Made Local Christmas Market this year and show you basically what I'm going to do to prepare, how I prepare, what I'm using and then I'm also going to vlog on the day as well so you can see how it goes. So at the moment I'm currently printing my art prints and just preparing stock. I've made a little layout on the floor of how big my table is going to be so I can kind of plan what it's going to look like on the day so I'll show you that now. If you watch my studio vlogs you probably would have seen this already but oh, oh, my phone. Um, here's my little layout, so I kind of measured on the floor how large my table is going to be. Um, it's not perfected yet, but I have these cardboard boxes that I've just wrapped in my wrapping paper, which is here, just to um, add some height to my stand, so hopefully that'll work. This then, I'm happy with the layout here for notebooks and planners. I'm going to put a few planners in the front and then maybe some, excuse my finger, I think that's ink. And then some planners down there. My pins are all displayed here. So this is actually a shelf that I found in Home Bargains. And yeah, I think it's, it's come in handy. I'm not keen on the color, I wish it was white, but it'll do. Then these cardboard stands that I got off Amazon, I'm gonna put some kind of display up the top or something, make it look quite pretty filled out with cards and then this one I also got off Amazon but it was a bit more expensive than the cardboard ones but I bought that first without realising. Anyway I'm gonna have my prints on here so my skylines I'm gonna I'm gonna print and package these in a sec and just maybe take 10 of each same with the cards maybe more so for these I think they're gonna be I think these would be my most popular but we'll see and then I've also found these that didn't sell last year. So I'm going to be taking some of those with me and then maybe a few of these just, oh, I don't know, maybe as a, like a little sale on the day. Oh, and then my box of wrapping paper, which I have here. I'll fill this and then as for packaging, they are too large to fit in the tubes I've got. So I've ordered some cellophane wrap just in case it's raining and I can ask people if they want them wrapped in cellophane so that they'll be waterproof at least. So yeah, this is currently how everything is looking. Um, there's a bunch of other prep that I need to do as well, like make sure I have my business cards, um, a money box, make sure I have change and cash, charge my card reader, make sure my phone doesn't die, make sure my card reader doesn't die, take my iPad, um, snacks, drinks, loads of stuff that I gotta make sure that I don't forget. So I think I'll make a little checklist and print it out and pack everything on the Friday. Yeah. So I've just finished printing all my prints and they're all laid out on the table here and I'm gonna start packing them in these biodegradable cello bags from EcoPrint and um, putting them with extra backing so that they stand up nice and securely on my stand.
morning. It's Monday today and I had the most amazing weekend at Etsy Made Local in Cardiff City Hall. I couldn't have asked it for it to go any better. Um, I'm feeling good this morning. I'm feeling motivated. I have loads of stuff to do, but I'm just so relaxed because I had such a great weekend. It was mentally exhausting and physically exhausting. Um, but by the time I got home on Saturday night and just became a potato on the sofa and watched TV, I was so, so happy. Yeah, like the things that sold well came at a complete surprise to me because the things that sold well at the market don't really sell well at all on my shop. So, for example, I completely sold out of my Cardiff skyline and I sold lots of my Castle Koch print. Um, I sold a few pins as well, um, some stickers and some cards but next to no planners or notepads, whereas they are my best sellers in my online shop. So it's just crazy, like I didn't expect it at all, but it was definitely worth my while and I really, really hope I can do it again next year. So I have a few um, little tips to give people if you're doing a market this year and you're worried, because I was so worried that I became very, very anxious and stressed myself out. There's no reason to stress, just make sure you have all your stock and um, you, you'll be fine. So uh, what I've done is I prepared a checklist, which I'll pop in the link below so you can download it for free. And um, it just has everything on there that you may forget, <laughs> like things like glue, stickers, tape, don't forget your money box. Um, yeah, just stuff like that, that, stuff that's easy to forget. So yeah. Um, also, huge thank you to my friend Cara for helping me set up and stay with me the whole day. Um, yeah, I re really recommend taking a friend or family member because that meant that I was able to leave my stand a few times, have a little walk around, stretch my legs, nip to the loo, get something to eat. Yeah, I don't know what I would have done without her. So thank you, friend. So the next market I'll be at will be Little Birdie Christmas Market, which is going to be in Katia's Community Centre. So if you're in the local area and you missed me this weekend, you can see me on the 14th of December at Katia's Community Centre. And that week from the Tuesday, what would that be? Let me check the date. Yeah, so also that week from Tuesday the 10th to Monday the 16th, I will also be at the Maker's Pop-Up Shop in Morgan's Arcade in Cardiff City. And I will actually be working there on the Tuesday as well. So my stuff will be there for a whole week and I will physically be in the shop on the Tuesday as well. I'm really looking forward to that because that's something a bit different to what I've usually done. Yeah, what else is news? Oh, so on the weekend, I just realized this morning, but my YouTube channel is now monetized. Oh, so I'm so, so, so thankful for all of you who have subscribed, who watch my videos, who like and comment. It's just crazy. So I've enabled monetization. So I'm very sorry, but there may be a few ads now, but Hopefully I'll earn a bit of cash I can put towards new products, new designs, new things to go in the shop. I can make more videos. So I am unbelievably, it's, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and thank you so much. So now I'm gonna get on with my day and my week. So I got some, what have I got to do? I got some custom freelance work to do, but I'm really hoping to be working on a new illustration this week based on what sold well on the weekend. I'm hoping to do an illustration of Cardiff Castle. So fingers crossed, it all goes to plan.
morning and happy Monday. It is currently half past eight and I have no milk here. So I'm just about to pop up to the shop so I can get some milk and some cereal because I can't function without tea. <laughs> currently 20 past six and I've spent the entire day labeling all my stock for the pop-up shop tomorrow so each individual item had to have um, its own unique code even if I had 50 notebooks for example all 50 of them needed a unique code so that took a lot longer than expected um, I haven't go back to a single email all day I haven't done a single order all day I've just finished packing and labeling my products for the shop tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to be in the shop tomorrow for an entire day. Um, so that'll be fun, hopefully. But now I've just sat down to get on with some orders that are outstanding and orders that need going out tomorrow because I'm not going to be here and maybe hopefully get a head start on Wednesday. Yeah, so a lot to do. morning it's currently 10 past 7 and I've just got everything ready to pack in the car ready to go to the Makers Arcade pop-up shop today this is all my stuff so it's gonna be very hard carrying it from the car to the shop I've had to bubble wrap everything that I couldn't fit in bags and that could potentially get wet because it's absolutely tipping down outside 
So I don't know if I'm going to be able to film anything today because I'm not sure how busy the shop is going to be. But I hope to get a few bits. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to have some breakfast and then I'll be off. taking a few pictures and then putting them up in my shop. Hi guys, it is currently Friday, um, half past seven in the evening. I haven't been filming much because I've just been so busy, but now tonight I'm just finishing preparing for the market that I have tomorrow. You can see the mess behind me. So yes, been very busy. Um, Tomorrow's my last market, and then I'm hoping to wind down, start to wind down for Christmas. It is six o'clock the next morning. I've got my tea, and I'm just packing up and pricing everything that I'm going to be taking. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, to today's final Christmas market. December and I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I don't know what I've filmed in total. Um, it's been about three weeks since I uploaded my last vlog so in that three weeks I've done two markets and a pop-up shop and now I'm rushing to get the last orders out before Christmas and finish up my freelance work. 
So I think this will be the last studio vlog of 2019, um, which is crazy. So I am planning on doing one more video, kind of like a roundup of 2019. 2019 or 2019? A roundup of 2019 and then what I have planned for next year. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.